Hey guys, here with Tony, qualified PT and runner in the 2020 Quickest Thieves Marathon. She's gonna quickly go through a couple of strength and conditioning exercises to hopefully complement your running. As a personal trainer and a current marathon runner, strength and conditioning for running performance is very important. It can improve your muscle endurance, your speed, agility, stiffness, um, flexibility, and it's imperative that we ensure that we have a strength and conditioning program. Next exercise is single leg calf raises. Calf raises are really important for strengthening your calves and improving your plantar fascia. We're gonna do a single leg calf raise, which you can do anywhere at home. If you just have a wall to lean on against or even in the top of a chair. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna push off from the balls of your feet onto your tippy toes lifting up, squeeze the calves for two seconds, then lower your heel back down to the floor. And we're gonna repeat that for 10 repetitions on each side of your leg. And I'd like you to do three rounds. Next exercise, single leg deadlift. This is very important for your overall balance, primarily strengthening your hamstrings, also your glutes. As a runner, we're always on one leg, so this exercise is very relevant. A micro bend in your front leg. Then you're going to extend nice and slowly the back leg out, keep it straight, keep your hips level, and then come back into the center. 10 reps on each leg, making sure that we're squeezing our hamstring, especially when we extend that leg out behind us. When starting out with a single leg deadlift, you can use a broomstick just to aid with your balance. So stepping up onto one leg with a micro bend in that knee, extending the back leg out and straight. Make sure you keep your hips nice and balanced. Squeezing the hamstring as you lower yourself down and squeezing your glute as you stand back up. Nice and slowly, 10 reps on each side and three rounds. Next exercise is a split squat. Purpose is it's using a number of muscle groups the quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes. These are all important to protect the knee. Taking a step back, making sure your body is straight and you're in the lunge position, lowering your knee down a few inches above the ground, coming right back up and repeating. Keeping your back straight. 12 to 15 reps on each leg and three rounds. Glutes are the foundation for running. So we're gonna begin with a double leg glute bridge. Feet flat on the ground, raising our hips up into the air. When we get up into the top point, we're gonna squeeze the sides of the glutes, engage your pelvic floor, and lower your, your bottom back down onto the mat. 12 reps and three rounds. Once you've mastered the double leg glute bridge, you can try doing the advanced exercise, the single leg glute bridge. Lifting up one leg, straightening out, raising it up into the air, pausing at the top point and squeezing that planted glute. Now we're gonna demonstrate a plank. I want you to hold for 30 to 60 seconds. As you get stronger, you can add time. Three rounds of the plank. I would recommend doing two strength and conditioning sessions a week, which are focused on calves, glutes, hamstrings, quadriceps, and your core, these are all stabilizing muscles and they will improve your long distance running. So I hope you guys got something from those videos from the girls. Um, as you know, strength and conditioning and a good warm up and cool down is super important to your running program, will definitely help you. If you guys have any more questions, you can get at both these girls on their socials. They'll be more than happy to answer any, any questions you've got for them. Thank you.